you to 11,000. Impressive scores as you deal with this subject in final. 19th century novels. We're going back a bit, aren't we? We'll reveal the clue in a moment. Next week, a Jeopardy 10-day television event starting Monday with game one of Ken Jennings' legendary 74-game win streak. Bet 2,000, Alex. Then, Tuesday, three champions, Holtzauer, Rudder, Jennings, an encore presentation of Jeopardy's The Greatest of All Time starting Monday. We're going back, back, back in time to deal with 19th century novels. Players, here's your clue. Its first line ends. The period was so far like the present period, for good or for evil, in the superlative degree of comparison only. You have 30 seconds. Good luck. sure if we had given you the opening lines, you'd have gotten it just like that. We'll see how things worked out. Anastasia, you had 11,000. Very impressive today. Did you come up with the correct response? What is a tale of two cities and you wrote something else down? Love you, Leo, El, Ted, and Lulu, my nieces All right. and nephews. Well, they're going to be happy and you will too because that's a correct response and you're going to do something to your 11,000. You'll double it and put yourself in the lead with 22,000 as we come to Alwyn. He had 16,400. He wrote down, ah, uh, the time machine by Wells instead. And that'll cost him 5601. That drops him down to 10,799. It's up to our champion. Did she come up with a tale of two cities? She did indeed. <laughs> and what was, oh, look at that smile. What was the, oh, hello. 17,000, 34,400 today. And now a four day total of 89,300. Having fun yet? Oh, I am. I oh. really am. Okay. We'll say goodbye, ladies and gentlemen, until tomorrow. Join us then. Promotional consideration provided by GEICO.